All right, guys, this is Tommy B coming back at you live from AFC. That stands for American Fighting Contest. For those of you who don't know, if you can tell by the flag on the wall and basically everything I've been doing my whole career, we're big believers in our country, man. We love America. That's why I always represent America with Team USA, and I try to find the best fighters I can to travel all over the world. Um, born and raised, born in the Bronx, raised on Strong Island. So, I, you know, I teach basically American martial arts. You know, it's a combination of all different styles. Uh, for many years of training, I, I started as a wrestler, then I did boxing, I did San Xiao, which is Chinese kickboxing, on the Sifu Moses Zorocho. Then I, I, I brought in one of a great boxing coach, Kenny Davis. Um, so, you know, his brother won the Olympics in the 1976 Olympics, Howard Davis Jr. So, I mean, I have, Pretty good pedigree from even my first wrestling coach is uh, Tony Peraza, which is a world champion wrestler. So, I mean, over the years, I, I found myself very lucky. You know, I ran into some great people that have helped me in many, many different ways and many different styles of fighting. I mean, that's my main instructors, but I mean, I've trained with Gene Fabricant, Russian Sambo, um, unbelievable grappler. I mean, an unbelievable person. He's the one who's responsible for taking my teams to uh, Ukraine with the USKBA. I mean, he was just incredible. He died, I think it was around, around uh, five or about seven years ago. Um, but he was one of the best grapplers I've ever seen. Um, besides that, I mean, I, I just have so many friends I've gotten to work with over the years, like Donna Dragon Wilson, and you know, it just I could just go on and on. So I feel that I'm lucky, you know, that, you know, I'm just a local guy that, you know, got to meet all these great people, my heroes, you know, Chuck Norris and Joe Lewis. You know, I trained with him a little bit. One night, the first night I met him, it was on a Walker Texas Ranger show. We, <laughs> that night we we went to the hotel and we, we trained for like a couple of hours and just talked about fights and how they used to do it. He was the original heavyweight kickboxing champion how they used to do it and how they did it, you know, on the way up and how I was throwing my right hand. And I mean, he basically wrote an article in Black Belt Magazine a month later about our conversation and our training, talking about, you know, how today's kickboxers train compared to wh wh when, he was tr when he was fighting. So that was like a big compliment to me because, you know, basically those guys are like our heroes, you know what I mean? Joe Lewis. Uh, Bill Superfoot Wallace, another great guy I've gotten to hang out with plenty of times. Um, Joe Lewis, the first heavyweight champion, the first light heavyweight champion. Um, Jeff Smith from, from Washington, D.C. I never got to train with him, but we have a lot of conversations, and, you know, the man was, is a living legend, you know, and I got, I, I, I cherish the moments that I get to talk to these people and learn from them. Joe Cawley. The original PK, uh, he's, he's the president of the PK, he's still going. Um, he was he fought against Bill Wallace in his first world title defense. I mean, <laughs> these guys are great legends, and I feel lucky to be able to associate with them. You know, um, every time they talk, I'm like you know like the little kid trying to learn something. You know, um, so believe me, there's always more to learn. You know, so don't don't like close yourself in to like one thing, you know, oh, I only do this style or I only do that style. Fighting has been punching, kicking and wrestling since the beginning of time, you know. You call it what you want. You want to call wrestling, wrestling or judo or jujitsu or uh, whatever, you know, it's, that, it is what it is. It, it's a form of wrestling, you know. Um, karate, kung fu, taekwondo, they're all basically different styles of striking, boxing. Boxing is martial arts too, you know, it's it's the hardest form of striking to me, you know, like if you're just in there one-on-one -on -one punching, I've done it with some great guys, you know, it's it's not easy, you know. Um, to me, the the more rules, the harder to fight. You know, I fought on all kinds of rules, I train people on every kind of rules, it, and people think, oh, MMA is the hardest thing because you're on the floor. It's brutal when you get an elbow in the face, but overall, like if you're, you know, you're a good grappler, you can stop that. If uh, boxing is not stopped, you know, you can't. You, it, it's either, I tell people all the time, if you're not punching, I'm punching. <laughs> so you you got to get off first. You got to be the one punching. You know, it's the same thing in all fights. But you know, the more things that you put into the fight, the 
the more options you have, you know. So it doesn't mean one style of fighting is better than another. They're all good. You know, they're all hard. There is no easy fight, you know. Um, train real hard and get real good at what you do. And hopefully you'll have a decent career, you know. There's, uh, it's the will to want to be the best that's going to make you the best. It's not the technique. It's not the style. You know, uh, whatever style you, you, you originate at, you train hard, you become the best you can be in that style, and then maybe move on to something else if you want to do MMA. If you want to stay with one thing, then train your butt off and be the best at it you can be. And if that's it, then teach. If you want to move on to other things, there's plenty of other things to move on to. To me, I'm always learning. I love all martial arts, and I try to listen to everybody and, and learn from everybody. I've had people in this school. I've had Ole Tatar, one of the best great uh, grapplers there's ever been. He's been in my school quite a few times. You know, Don the Dragon Wilson, the best kickboxer that ever lived, he's been here a few times, you know. So I'm honored that this little school in Middle Island, you know, we've had like living legends, UFC champions, boxing gold medalist, Howard Davis Jr.'s been here. Uh, Junior Poison Jones, another boxing legend. He's a five-time lightweight world champion, a featherweight world champion. Um, kickboxes, forget it. I've had everybody, you know. Um, so there, there's no, you know, I have always respected all martial arts, you know. So I want you guys to understand that, that you just open your eyes up and just keep learning, you know, keep working hard. Hard work is the, is the secret. You know, people say, what's the ancient Chinese secret to becoming a great fighter? Well, the ancient Chinese secret is hard work. So work hard, keep doing it, man. You know, and, uh, and listen, and one more thing I want to mention is uh, there is a way for schools in New York to open legally, okay? So right now we're open because we're doing a professional fighter training, uh, professional sport training camp. Uh, so we're only training fighters. They're getting ready for fights right now. But July 6th in phase four, there is a way that you can open at, you know, you gotta follow all the strict guidelines that we're, we're following here. Um, but there is a way to open legally. You know, you, it's not gonna be like it used to be for now. We'll follow all the rules, but you will be able to teach. And, and you know, that's what we do. For those of you who are school owners, you want us to teach. If you need help, call me, you know, text me, look on my Facebook, look on Instagram. You, I'm very easy to find. I'll give you my cell phone number right now. It's 516. 885-9239. It's 516-885-9239. You can text me and I can send you all the information that can help you to be approved so you can do it legally and right and, you know, we can move forward, you know. Um, I've been working with commissions for many, many years, especially in the state of New York. I was involved in when the, when the sport was illegal with MMA and kickbox and any form of fighting except for boxing was legal in New York. And I was involved all the way from the start to the finish. We got the WK, I was the one who got them approved in New York. Whether they want to admit it or not, that's what happened. We were the first show that was approved in New York in Patchogue and I fought on it. I had a four man pro tournament. Um, so I've been involved forever. When the UFC was trying to get in, I worked with them because it helped us. We were still, we were illegal in New York. We, we were legalized only to work at the WK, but we had some issues with them. We weren't happy with some of the things they were doing. So I wasn't even doing shows in New York at the time. So what did I do? I, I, the UFC contacted me because they saw all the stuff that I was involved with, with fighting the state um, and getting the WK approved. They, they contacted me and I worked with their lawyers on what we can do to make the next step forward. Instead of just suing and just, you know, fighting and arguing about, you know, they're all, you know, the politicians, how they're all bad, forget all of that, because that's not going to get you anywhere. We need to always find a solution. That's what business is all about. We need to find a solution and move forward. And this is the solution for now. It might not be perfect, but it is a solution. So if you need any help, I don't care who you are, I don't care what style you you, you you teach or you train in. If you have a school and you need help, contact me and I will help you. Okay, uh, we're, all, we're all in this together. Us.